Singapore Changi Airport, the home base of world number one airlines, Singapore Airlines, is the major aviation hub in Asia. In 2007, the airport handled a record of 36.7 million passengers and 1.89 million tons of cargo, which made it one of the busiest airports in the world by passenger and cargo traffic respectively. Samho Corporation Private Limited, a leading integrated engineering and infrastructure construction company, was engaged to design and resurface the two existing airport runways, which were constructed 25 years ago. The whole contract period for the project is nine months. Due to the heavy usage of the airport, the execution of the project needed careful planning. The two runways are broken into approximate 80 sections each, and the existing asphalt surface with depths ranging from 100 to 150 millimeters of asphalt is replaced into incremental stages. Every night before the commencement of work, a daily runway safety briefing is conducted by safety officer, especially on runway safe work procedure, in order to meet the topmost airport operations safety's requirement. It's 1 a.m. The last flight has just landed. The tower gives the permission to enter the runway and the long night race against time begins. The operation crew consists of more than 80 people with various skills and a big fleet of heavy machinery and specialized equipment which are now moving into the closed runway through the designed runway entry point. During the first four hours of each night shift, three high-powered milling machines are working at a remarkable speed to mill off over 3,000 square meters of existing asphalt pavement and more than 1,000 tons of milled waste have to be transported away from the runway. In order to organize the subsequent section of the runway to be resurfaced, some concrete plinths and HDPE piping are required to be laid in advance for the new airfield lighting. The affected airfield lights are to be removed and make way for some dusty work. A DC-35 groove cutting machine is now deployed to cut the aircraft pavement according to proposed pipe routing. At the same time, the hydraulic hammer is breaking up the pavement so as to prepare a base for launching the precast concrete plinth. Once the plinths and pipes are in correct position, all the opening will be grouted with a special fast set hardening high strength grout. For those pavements completed on the previous night, the registered surveyor is now setting in the new position of airfield lighting for specialist subcontractor to commence the installation work. By the end of the day, the new airfield lighting will be sitting on a concrete plinth and will be functioning. This is important because by the next afternoon when the runway is open for aircraft operation, the new airfield lights must be working, especially after dawn, in order to maintain the serviceability of runway before it is closed again for subsequent section of works. By the time the project is completed, hundreds of lights lining along the runway would have been removed and refitted. It's now 5 a.m. The milling machine had done their works and the sweeper is doing the final cleaning of the milled surface. A layer of bituminous tack coat is now applied to the surface. The cut joint is to improve the binding of the new asphalt premix. Without losing any time, two modern pavers equipped with high compaction screeds and precise automatic leveling system is beginning to lay a 50 to 100 millimeter of hot mix asphalt above the milled surface. This is a special airport asphalt premix developed jointly by CAAS and Samho in order to provide a strong binder course to runway to ready for heavier traffic when Terminal 3 is ready to open in year 2008. Without delay, four tandem vibratory rollers start compaction the asphalt. They only have six hours to pave approximate 1,200 tons of special asphalt from now on. Toward daybreak, two additional pneumatic rollers are joining the rest of the rollers for compaction. 
The registered surveyor is now performing the final check on the levels, while the compaction of HMAC is being checked by nuclear density gauge to ensure a minimum of 98% in compaction is achieved before laying a final wearing course. A 50 mm thick layer of stone mastic asphalt, or SMAC in short, is now laid by the two modern pavers again with precise automatic leveling system under the continuous supervision of airport authority to ensure the precision of final runway surface for a better rideability. This special designed runway wearing course is again a joined R&D effort between Sumho and CAAS to provide the runway surface with a better rut resistance and improved skid resistance. After the completion of the whole daily activities, the final wearing course will allow to cure. At the same time, all of the machinery is towed away immediately, while the final runway marking is being reinstated before returning the runway for tower for operation before 3 p.m. In a runway job like this, the strong management of timing for all activity is an essential to ensure the on-time opening of runway daily. The strong and dedicated commitment from Sumho's management, coupled with all parties involved, including CAAS, contractors and subcontractor, have made the successful completion of this tight scheduled project. Once again, Sumho has successfully completed the whole project within the contract period. This further proved our strength and we are all very proud to involve in this resurfacing project.